guys, so today I'm going to do a glitter chair on Delirium. I'm wearing a shirt that says All That Glitters that I got at Forever 21 like ages ago and it's like rainbow all that glitters everywhere and I just feel like it fits me. So Delirium's another book that's set in a dystopian world where government has taken mega control over society and decided that love is actually a disease that humans should be cured of. Humans should be immune to love so that they cannot feel it and feel the hysteria associated with love. And the interesting thing about this is I am like the biggest believer in that love is the most important emotion in the world. I know a lot of people might argue that, you know, other things like duty and honor and, you know, what else? Loyalty might be the most important emotion, but I went into this book thinking there is no way they're going to convince me that in any society people would be able to be brainwashed into thinking that love is a disease and that it's not a good thing. But this book, the author does such a good job describing the emotions that you feel when you're in love and using the feelings of love as symptoms of the disease. So you know those feelings you get when you're in love, like there's stage one where you kind of get nervous around the person, you might, your heart might start to beat faster, um, you might have shortness of breath, daydreaming, all these things, and then it gets more and more intense the more you fall in love. Well, they actually believe that those symptoms, your body kind of goes in hysteria and you become crazy and you have to be like put away. So in this society, they change something in your brain so that you actually can't feel love at all. So it's not just like the passionate, you know, romantic love, it's also any kind of love. It's friendship love, it's love for your own children, your own family, and the results of this surgery can actually backfire as well. It can make you, you know, abuse animals, abuse your own children more so than you would, you know, in in the real world, like in our world, that happens sometimes too, but in this world, it's as a result of removing love from your, like, abilities. Your brain can't feel that emotion anymore. And of course, there's rules to every, or there's exceptions to every rule, and there are people that might not, the surgery might not work on them, and there's also people that live outside of the city that are non-believers. They believe that love is like, you know, something that should be embraced and they are like, they have to like run for their lives because they, the city, like will kill you or they'll put you away in this horrible prison that it explains in the book that is like, it's awful. The way they describe it, it's one of the worst prisons. I would put it up there with Azkaban from Harry Potter. Like, you know how when you were reading about that in the Harry Potter books, it scared you half to death? Like, you had fears for yourself, irrational fears that one day you would end up in Azkaban. That's how I feel about the prison described in this book. Like, it just really scares me. So you have the main character whose name is Lena, and she is looking forward to her surgery. So you get a surgery the day you turn, I think 18. You can't get it before that age or it messes with your brain and it can actually like kill you or make you go crazy. So she's actually looking forward to it because she is scared of the disease and this society brainwashes you so much. You're just told from childhood that all the symptoms of love are awful. They're horrible, you'll go crazy, you'll kill people. like. You'll never be sane. You'll end up in the terrible prison. And throughout the book, there's actually little, like before every single chapter, there's a quote. And it's always quotes that like we recognize, but they are twisted. So it will be like a quote from Romeo and Juliet talking about how amazing love is, but the words will be changed slightly. And it will be like from, you know, second grade English or whatever. Like they're taught, they're brainwashed basically. This kind of freaked me out. So this is from a nursery rhyme. Like it's the beginning of chapter six and it says it's from a nursery rhyme. And this is what it says. Mama, mama, help me get home. I'm out of the woods. I'm out on my own. I found me a werewolf, a nasty old mutt. It showed me its teeth and went straight for my gut. Mama, mama, help me get home. I'm out in the woods. I'm out on my own. I was stopped by a vampire, a rotting old wreck. He showed me his teeth. He went straight for my neck. Mama, mama, put me to bed. I won't make it home. I'm already half dead. I met an invalid and fell for his art. He showed me a smile and went straight for my heart. So an invalid is like the um, people that don't believe, that believe in love. They don't believe in the society and they like run away and like live like on the outskirts of the city. You know how like 
you have nursery rhymes growing up, you don't realize how scary they are until you're an adult and you look back on it like the one the ring around the rosy that's about the black plague and about people dying and I used to sing that with my friends like we'd get in a circle and hold hands and go around in a circle and like play the game and it's so scary now as an adult like knowing what that means like I can't believe that any parent would let their children do that so it's similar like you think to yourself oh my gosh what a horrible nursery rhyme but the author just is so like genius in the way she writes this story. Like I I loved this book. I was so sucked in by Lena and Alex's romance. Obviously the main character, the whole thing is that she's excited about the surgery and then she falls in love. And it happens, you knew it was gonna happen, that's what the book was about. You were gonna have someone fall in love and like try to beat the system. And that's what happens, and I loved it. I was just, I read this book so quickly, and I was so in love with the way the story is written, and the way that it makes you understand the society in ways that certain books like Hunger Games, which I love that series, but it doesn't do a good job explaining to you why you would want, why you would believe in that society why it makes sense, like why the society would exist. It kind of goes against the laws of human nature of like, you know, some societies are obviously horrible and corrupt, but for the most part, humans want to live in a safe environment. It, it doesn't make sense that, that that would happen, even though it has happened in history and you know, you had like the gladiators in Rome that, you know, would people would watch people fight to the death. So I know like it, makes sense but do you know what I'm saying it just it I didn't feel reading it that I felt like I understood why society was the way it was but with this book I totally understand it I could see how if I was raised in the society I would believe it too and I would believe that love was a disease that you should be protected from and all this stuff I loved this book so much that I was up really late finishing it and it was like four o'clock in the morning and I told myself as soon as I finish it I'm gonna turn on my camera and do my literature like that's how much how strongly I felt about the story until the last two pages. The very, literally the last two pages of the book, something happens that I don't understand why the author would do it that way. And I know it's setting it up for the sequel. There is a sequel. It's already released. I already own it. I haven't read it because I am so unsure of the storyline now. I understand that it was setting it up for the second book and that I'm sure the author has a reason for doing it and it's all going to come together at the end like series do, but it upset me. It was such a harsh ending and it upset me so much that I started crying. I was like sobbing. I was so just upset over this book and about what happens at the end of it and I don't even know if I want to read the second book. It's so, yeah, so my end result is that I think this was an amazing book. It was fantastic. If you are not the type of person that ever read, that ever cries in books, then you probably will have no problem with the end. But if you are someone who cries in books, sometimes I have been known to cry in books before. This isn't the first one. Uh, you might be very upset over what happens at the end. I did love this book, and I know eventually I'm going to read the sequel. I will get over it. But I am just I'm I was so upset by the ending. I physically cried over the ending so let me know what you think about this book in the comments below because I would like to know if you guys had the same reaction and my next literature will probably be unmatched because I'm almost done with it I literally have this much more oh and I also found my book entwined that I talked about in a previous video I finished this one as well and when I went to the literature I couldn't find the book but I found it so this literature will be coming eventually too so those two and they're both green books which is funny and I pay attention to that because I just color coordinated my bookshelf in rainbow tones which match my shirt so this video is really long I don't know why my glitterters get so long they just do I get carried away I love books I love reading so I'll see you guys later bye